Ivy Dietitian. Katie George, back again with a recipe that looks like it's going to spoil my dinner. I know. Okay, so I get to share one of my favorite holiday recipes. And I get to do a little shout out to my grandma Marlene who would always make this dip. Awesome. And I would always like be so excited for this. So this is grandma Marlene's dill dip. Wow. I know, I love this one. So um, I've used this in a couple of like kids classes and the kids love it too. I don't know what it is about it. Mm -hmm. I think there's, there's something in this yeah. that, that makes it so lovely. So um, we have this every Christmas and um, even after my grandma has passed, we thankfully found her recipe and oh, her God. recipe box. So the tradition continues. So Grandma Marlene's dill dip. So what we are gonna do, we're gonna start off with um, about a cup of sour cream. I always like triple this because we'll, we will literally eat this. Mm -hmm. So um, about a cup of um, sour cream. We are also going to equal that out with equal parts of mayonnaise. Okay. So um, with this one, if you use half a cup, if you want to make a smaller batch, half a cup and a half a cup of mayonnaise, cup and a cup, you know, it's simple math. <laughs> um, so um, about a cup of the mayonnaise along with the sour cream. With this recipe, it honestly is so much better if you make it ahead of time okay. and really just let the uh, flavors mesh. Every time I make it, I try it and I'm like, oh, it's not right, it's not right yet. And I have to remind myself, step away and <laughs> let it let it sink together and try it the next day. So I am always prepping this um, ahead of time. That's perfect. Yes. So. Um, equal parts mayonnaise and sour cream. From here, we are using the dried minced onions, and I truly think this is a huge part of what makes this. Um, you're gonna wanna use about a tablespoon and a half ish or whatever <laughs> I don't care um, I never measure my spices I always go by taste which is sometimes when I have to go back and be like okay I think it needs a little <laughs> bit more so the minced onion does just add a great texture to this from here we have a couple other secret ingredients dried dill and again as dilly as you like okay. it. Um, we are huge dill fans at our house. So we're just gonna stir in some dill. This is usually what I'm going back for. Like, I think it needs more dill. <laughs> so a little bit of dill. We are gonna use um, oregano as well. Oh. So that's gonna add some great flavor. And then our final kind of secret ingredient is seasoned salt. So the seasoned salt just adds a good, um, just a good vibe, I don't yeah. know, I just love this. We love that in our seasoned house. Seasoned salt. So then you just literally mix it all together, mix, mix, mix. We always serve this with a veggie platter and I feel like this is just different than your typical ranch dressing. Mm -hmm. So easy to make, make ahead. It, I would say it lasts for a long time, but it doesn't last at our house because it's gone. Yeah, <laughs> yes. this looks like something. Everybody that would go eats past. it, so this is why I usually make a triple batch during the the holidays because we'll just eat on eat it for like the entire weekend. And you just simply serve it with um, veggies, or you can serve it with crackers. Um, honestly, this is just so great. So, yeah. Grandma's special dill dip recipe for you not to be shared but clearly i just shared it right yeah, exactly i love it and i hope you guys can all uh, benefit from this it is just an amazing yummy um holiday dip thank you so much for sharing this yes. family tradition yeah. with us all right we'll be right back